hello everybody, I am Spectacular the Silver Stacular, and I am at a brand new coin shop local to me in Port Ritchie, Florida. The owner, Mark, has allowed me to come in and show off his shop and talk to him about his coins and collectibles at MG Coins and Collectibles. So please stay with me as I take a look around his brand new coin shop. Here I am in Port Ritchie, Florida with the owner of MG Coins. If you don't mind, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your name and who you are and what you're doing here? Okay, my name is Mark Graff. My wife Maritza and I run this uh, little coin shop here. We're at 10424 Highway 19 in Port Ritchie, Florida, right next to the Arby's Roast Beef at Jasmine. Uh, we've been open for just over a month now. We uh, pretty much carry all U.S. and American coins. We do have a little bit of foreign as well. And we carry uh, sports cards and memorabilia, Boy Scout memorabilia, and odds and ends, to say. Odds and ends, I like that. Now, I'm going to have this video on YouTube, if, that, if that's okay for you and your shop. Can it be on YouTube? Absolutely. Okay, great. So, show me some of these coins here and kind of like what you specialize in. Okay, in this case here, we've got American Silver Eagles. They're one-ounce Silver Eagles coming from the U.S. Mint. These are the slab coins here, different dates. And we got the raw coins here that people use to put in their books. We also carry proof silver eagles. We carry gold silver eagles. These are proof original government packaging here. And then down on the bottom in the trays are what we call the coin book coins, people that are filling in on their coin books. And then here at the end, we got gold coins. A lot of one tenth ounces. Uh, there's a one ounce, there's some uh, platinum quarter ounces and a one tenth ounce down there. Right on, so a little bit of everything right there. Mm -hmm. In this case here, it starts off with a uh, dollars a lot of peace dollars a lot of morgan dollars and then goes all the way through half dollars quarters dimes and pennies and then of course on the bottom is more book coins i want to say your displays look really good i mean you've done a good job sorting things out and just displaying it real nice oh well thank you thank you on the top here this is all copper rounds all different kinds of copper rounds people have been collecting um, those are just for fun pretty much yes yeah. yes yeah novelty and then here are what we call raw coins. These are ones that haven't been sent into a third party grading company and put into a slab. And these are same thing, dollars, halves, quarters, all the way down to penny and half cent. And then some novelty stuff. And then now on the second shelf, we just got in some new jewelry. And good for any occasion, birthdays, anniversaries, uh, Christmas is coming up. Also next to that, we got uh, some 10 ounce silver bars. And then we have other silver and stuff like that on the shelf down below. So you can appeal to the coin collector, the bullion collector, whatever you got. I mean, you appeal to it all. Correct. I like that. Can you show us some of these uh, kind of uh, different coins you have in here? Just give us an example. Sure, sure. I know you have some really cool older ones in here. Yeah, let me grab one here. That's what I like. There's a $17.99 dollar. Chewy, huh? Yeah. Here's a key date 28 piece dollar. And key date 21, peace dollar. Those are nice. Yeah. And then there's just a whole row of like Morgans. A, like an endless row. Yeah. You got so many. Just like you would see in most coin shops you go to, they, they usually have displays of their coins that they have out for sale. It's so amazing. You can get a coin that's over 100 years old mm -hmm. for less than 100 bucks. I mean, that's, that's so neat. And some Morgan dollars. So you've been collecting, uh, what, on and off through the years? Yeah, I started in the 70s uh, when I was in the Boy Scouts getting my stamp and uh, coin collecting merit badges. Then I kind of sold out and went into Boy Scout field uh, doing uh, collectibles in Boy Scouts and got back into the coin business about three and a half years ago. And now uh, vice president of the local club up here, the Pasco Coin Club. We have our Pasco Coin shows four times a year. New shows starting down in Newport Ritchie, October 16th. And... Uh, it's been, it's been good. We meet a lot of interesting people. That's cool. So the coin shows are doing good these days, huh? Excellent. Excellent. That's awesome. I also carry a full line of supplies. You know, if you need two by twos, flips, uh, coin binders, pages, currency items. This is upcoming shows, and this is the information on my shop. 
I'm the Orange Flyer. We got uh, two shows coming up this year and then seven planned for next year, including some two-day shows, which we don't have a whole lot of two-day shows in our area here on that. So this is your phone number here in case people want to give you a call? Correct. Cool. Correct. So now this stuff right here, I'm not so familiar with, but uh, you are apparently. Yeah, I've been doing Boy Scout collectibles and memorabilia for a lot of years. This is some local stuff from the Tampa area, Simmel Lodge, Gulf Ridge Council back in the day. Uh, let's see here. Now, is Boy Scout collectibles, is that big? I was never a Boy Scout. It is fairly big. This is an old Baden Powell 10. This is back from the Boer War in the late 1800s, early 1900s. This is about a 1900 piece. Wow. That you don't see much of anymore. Um, it, These are just patches, huh? Mm-hmm. What does a patch go for? This is one of the first issues from that lodge. It's about a $400 patch. Wow. These are some of the neckerchiefs that you would wear, like the scarves. They're two and $300. Rare Boy Scout collectibles. Mm -hmm. I regret not going into the Boy Scouts because I cannot tie a knot to save my life. Well, I was in, I've been in it for a long time. I'm an Eagle Scout. I'm um, still registered with the Boy Scouts of Nicaragua. My wife is from Nicaragua, so I've got four, I've got a five year membership down there. I also help support them go to the World Jamboree here in West Virginia a couple years back. And uh, I paid for all their neckerchiefs and patches and gave them just bags and bags of trading stock. Well, that's cool. That's awesome. And then through here. Oh, so you got some more Boy Scout stuff. And Boy Scout stuff. All right. I wonder if anybody that watches me are actually uh, previous Boy Scouts. To leave some comments down below in this video to find that out. In this case here, we've got a bunch of autograph stuff. Um, a lot of events I've been to. Most of the stuff I got myself. There's some stamps. A lot of oddity type stuff. So old cards, huh? Yeah. You don't mess around with the new cards very I much. Got, there are some. Back here are some autographs of uh, players. Most Hall of Famers. Most are deceased at this point. Some movie posters, which are very rare to find in Spanish. Really? Then down from them, you got two of the greatest golfers, Ben Hogan and Sam Sneed. Then next to them, you got Roy Rogers and Dale Evans, which were my heroes back in the day. I'm old. <laughs> and then some great Yankees and Red Sox on the back wall. Very cool. It's like, kind of a hodgepodge. Yeah, I like the artwork. <laughs> That's what I consider it. I, I, sometimes I'll take like old currency and frame it and put it up, and I just consider it just art, you know? It is. It is. Especially the currency in the older days was made so much nicer than the stuff we have today in our in our wallets. So, tell me about these Pez. What's those are not Boy Scout things. No, no. <laughs> Pez dispensers. I remember from when I was a kid, and uh, I was at a, a Collectorama show in Lakeland back in July, June or July, and a guy had all these Pez dispensers. They don't really fit in except they're just older collectibles, and they're neat. They're not very expensive. They're you know three four dollars a piece. That you, I think you can still get the candy that goes in them. And actually, in the coins end of it, they make Pez dispensers that have silver Pez candies that go into them. I have seen those. So these are not too expensive. They're just fun. Yeah, they're just a, a neat collectible from when I was back in the kid days. But these are probably 70s, 80s, 90s type. That's cool. What's the pig? Is that actually a Pez as well? Yeah, and I'd never seen them before. They're kind of a... Uh, they open from the front here. And you store your, your candy inside like that. <laughs> That's fantastic. And the monkey and the pig and the uh, penguin, they're all the same. Oh, neat. Yeah, I'll do that one open so people can see it open. Very cool. But yeah, just kind of a hodgepodge of all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I love it. Appreciate you showing us those. Oh, yeah, yeah. And what are these, uh, these metals? Those are what they call hat plumes from the 1800s and 1900s mostly from overseas, and each different color represents a different position in the scouting organization, whether it's a scoutmaster, assistant scoutmaster, senior patrol leader, uh, or anything like that. And those, uh, they only lasted in the United States for a few years and very hard to find in the early 1900s, the actual hat plumes that were made here in the United States. Interesting. So this is your, some of your gold holdings here? Yes, that's uh, all, most of them are one-tenth ounce American gold eagles. And in 2021, they changed the design on the back. They had a type one and then the type two. And this was a limited edition set. You could order from the mint, one per person, per family. And I was able to get a couple of them. And these were what they call proof. These are over here are uncirculated. 
Right on. Gold is beautiful. And there's platinum down here at the bottom. One tenth ounce, one quarter ounces. You think platinum's ever gonna make a comeback on price? Um, I'm hoping so. Right on. It's cheap right now though, it seems. It is, and pal but palladium is still expensive. I've never oh, gotten yeah. palladium, but that's one of the uh, price things, that, you know, silver, gold, platinum, palladium, copper, they're all marketable in the coin business. Right on. Well, Mark, listen, thanks a lot for showing us your shop. Greatly appreciate it. Um, if people want to give you a call, you have that number right there for them. And, uh, you know, hopefully this does really well for you because you're local to me and I love that. I love having coin dealers around me. It's something I, <laughs> I love just going shopping, you know, for coins. Well, thank you so much for uh, putting this out there for everybody to see. All right, thanks, Mark.